Hello, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create uh, the PHP MyAdmin uh, user interface. And for this, uh, we're going to navigate to the to this URL, to uh, HTTPS uh, www.phpmyadmin.net slash downloads. Uh, and then we're coming uh, through this to this side. We're clicking to the newest version, PHP my admin 4.5.1. Download the English zip. It will automatically unzip when you're finished with downloading. I've already did this and have my PHP my admin uh, folder here. So uh, what we're going to do is to drag and drop our uh, this folder that we uh, just uh, downloaded. Click on copy and we're going into uh, the your user folder and into the sites folder that we created in the first uh, tutorial of this series and inside here we just say uh, paste and we will paste the whole folder and i'm going to rename this uh, and say php my admin and now we can uh, go inside in this folder. We can create a new folder uh, called uh, config in creating a new folder, or we can do this uh, by uh, uh, creating a new uh, folder inside of our uh, uh, terminal. So I type in sudo dot, that is not a function, so it will show nothing. But I do this all the time. I don't know because uh, you can uh, now you have to type in your computer password because you uh, can uh, uh, operate multiple uh, operations at once if you are uh, once logged in with sudo. So we copy this mkdir, uh, mkdir, which means make directory, and we're making a directory in. To our sites and our PHP my admin uh, folder and name it config and if we look now inside of our PHP my admin folder we have this uh, config older folder created now we need to change uh, some permissions on this folder so we say uh, simply say gmod o plus w which uh, simply means uh, for other users to make it writable <coughs> And uh, when we're finished with that, we can navigate uh, to our uh, root folder inside of our uh, uh, localhost. And now we have this PHP my admin folder. We cannot log in because we're not logged in right now. We not set it. We have not. Our PHP my admin is not set up right now. So we say set up, and we came in like here. And I delete this server because uh, when you came here, uh, there should be no configured servers. So we simply click new server. It's on localhost. Perfect. Then we say uh, server configuration. No, sorry. Uh, authentic authentication. And we make the config authentication for our root user at the MySQL database. And we set up a password, a new password for our root user uh, in the last tutorial. So we need to type the password for the root user of the uh, MySQL database. It's not the password for your computer. It's the password for the uh, for the root user of your MySQL database. We configured for the local host. So we simply click apply. Then uh, we should have a server here. Now we simply click save and now we have a file inside of our uh, config folder created. We simply drag and drop it to the root directory to the PHP my admin. We have here our new folder and now we delete this config folder. And now we can uh, go to the uh, starting page of PHP my admin and normally MySQL is not running, so I show you that it will not work when your MySQL server is not running. So we log in with our root user of the MySQL database. 
say root and your root password and say go and it will say cannot log into the MySQL server. All right. Simply start your MySQL server. It's under user system preferences uh, down here and now click start and your MySQL server instance is running and when you log in with your root user and your root password and click enter you're inside of the PHP my admin user interface and now we can configure our databases uh, with a simple uh, user interface and this is perfect so we're finished with this tutorial I hope you liked it and uh, if so don't forget to give me thumbs up uh, don't forget to, su to subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions uh, ask me in the in the comment uh, sections uh, below uh, I will try to uh, help you as soon as possible and also if you have any questions or any uh, other ideas what I can do uh, simply uh, write me an email uh, uh, write me on Twitter or uh, in the comment uh, section below and I will try to help you and make a tutorial on this. So, see you the next time. Have a good night. Bye.